Compulsive video game players can often suffer many of the same problems as people with other addictions. Now, researchers from the University of Missouri say they have found motivations for playing video games that may help identify gamers who play games for an amount of time that is unhealthy. The researchers say it isn't necessarily how much time is spent playing games, but rather why gamers choose to play video games. It's not a question of just how many hours you're playing, it's this is actually we're measuring are you having problems because of how much you're playing. Just like in alcoholism, if you're drinking to forget about how bad you feel, if you're gaming to forget about how bad you feel, uh, you may be more likely to have a game problem. The researchers found three main motivations to play video games that they say could help predict unhealthy game use. Uh, the biggest predictor was escapism. So people who are playing video games to get away from their lives and forget about their problems are the people who are most likely to have problems because of how much they're playing video games. So it seems to suggest that there's this sort of vicious cycle where I'm playing video games to get away from my problems, and because of that, my problems are getting worse and worse. The second risk factor that we found was um, social interaction. So people who are playing video games to make friends or maintain friendships are also more likely to have a video game problem. To me, it suggests a sort of social obligation to play a video game. Um, if you are playing World of Warcraft and you have a World of Warcraft team, you are obligated to spend certain amounts of time playing with them or else they'll cut you from the team. Uh, so it's possible that these sort of social interactions um, cause you to have to play the game more than you should. The third thing we found was that people who are very sensitive to these in-game rewards, so people who enjoy playing until they get level ups or better equipment for their character, who want to collect all the things in the game, these people are also f having a harder time putting the game down and they're uh, experiencing greater problems. Hilgard says certain types of video games may be more likely to attract gamers who play for unhealthy amounts of time. Uh, massively multiplayer online RPGs like World of Warcraft may represent sort of a triple threat because they have all three of these risk factors that we found. You can play with other players, you can work towards earning better equipment and levels for your character all the time, and you can escape into this e enormous fantasy world uh, where you can forget about your problems. So these sort of games may represent uh, all three of these problems at once. Hilgard says understanding gamers' motives for playing video games can inform game developers, consumers, and parents about why certain games attract certain types of people. For the MU News Bureau, I'm Nathan Hurst.